Oh my God. Here we go. Uh, got it. Got it. Hey, what's going on? It's Joe Rock. My guest today, Gina Shock from the Go Go's new book out, Made in Hollywood, All Access the Go Go's. And I'm going to wrap myself out right here. This is our second go around because I've got to take the recording out of pause when we start before. <laughs> hey, but you know, mistakes happen, but really, Joe, I could strangle you, but it's okay. No, it was a good. It was a good interview, but we'll try and we'll try and match it. Maybe outdo it, right? But maybe we can even make it better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna try. We'll try. So one of the things we were talking about is the book. Like I said, made in Hollywood, all access with the Go Go's. It's such a thing on so many different levels, and it starts with the pictures. And where did you get the idea that you were going to put this together for a book? Um, um, like I said I, I had been wanting to do this for decades and the band has been really nudging me you know come on do it man you got so many great photos but you know it's it's easy to say and hard to, to, to do I, I had to find someone to help me to do this because it the task seemed like it, well it was overwhelming thinking about it and I, I didn't even know if it was possible to do it because I had so many photos all over my house you know stuffed in envelopes and in drawers and in desks and in closets and under the bed and all that. And so just getting it all out and dumping it all in my living room floor and looking at it was like, oh my God, you know, that was a big feat in itself. But then to have somebody sit down and actually go over this stuff and help me pick up, because I can't be objective. Like, it's like, this is me. I don't know what's good. You tell me what you think, you know, as an outsider. You think somebody'd like to see this, or you yeah. know, I, I had to do that. I had to sort of step away for a minute and, like, you know, have have the, the person that was helping me do that because it's really a hard thing to do. And it just, I I was, I didn't think I I didn't know how we were. Anyway, we did get it together, and it took about a year and a half from start to finish. Um, and I'm I'm super happy with the way it came out. Um, I couldn't be happier. Well, it's great because like the title says, all access with the Go-Go's, these photos really show that. I mean, down to like pictures, you know, Kathy's in, in the mirror in the bathroom. You're behind her with the camera coming in. I right. mean, so, can't get any more. You know, people have different ideas about what it's like to be in our shoes. And um, I, I think that it's kind of important and cool to let your, especially let your fans know, like, this is what it's like. It's like, everybody does, we do the same thing. We put our makeup on, you know, we have our life and we get up every day and we do our job and we do our thing. It's, except we just, at the end of the day, we step on stage in front of a bunch of people and, and get to play music that we love and songs that they love. But um, I just wanted people to get an insider view. And also remember, it's my perspective and I'm in the band. So hopefully it's, um, it, it's it adds more to the whole the whole picture there because it's not just a, a photographer an outside photographer coming in and spending a week with the band or spending a month with the band or take this like for the perspective of a band member and i think that adds something to the sauce there i don't know yeah well it definitely does because part of the book that uh was really fascinating was it was written from a musician standpoint you take us into yeah. you writing the songs creating them in the studio and also too down to the very first show you know, I had to laugh being a musician myself. I get when you talk about playing your very first show with the Go-Go's and doing everything like double speed and finishing up in like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a, that is a true story, really. I, I've, I've told that many times, but it is absolutely true. Um, I'm like, I, I told you, I'm like, I'm a nervous Nelly to begin with. So um, adding on top of that, that was the first show that I was doing with the band. Um, and, you know, we were punks and we played everything really fast. But being the first show, I played it double fast. And what was supposed to be like a 50 minute set turned out to be like a 20, 25 minute set. But it didn't matter because everybody was having such a good time. They didn't give a shit. They were like, yeah, man, you know, everybody was just into it. And that's what was so beautiful about that time, like in the early 80s, that everything was so freeing. And, you know, it was just, it was a great time to be around and, and, and music was exploding. Everybody was listening to all sorts of different things, reggae, ska, rock, hard rock, rock, you know, pop, uh, punk. It, it was incredible, R&B. Everything was, you could turn on the radio and hear all that, you know? It was all around. 
and bands yep. that performed like in LA. Well, this, everything was exploding back then. Well, you know, it's cool that you say that because another thing is that you also <laughs> show us the perspective of you being a fan because there's pictures with Joan Jett, with David Bowie, with Charlie Watts. It, it was just great to see you as a fan as well. Yeah, um, I, I uh, couldn't believe I was meeting all those people. Actually, Joan lived right down the street from the whiskey. So she would come to a lot of our shows um, and she was part of the whole scene, you know? Um, and actually her and I have been texting and I haven't talked to her in ages. And it was really good to catch up with her. She's so awesome. I love her. And her manager, Kenny, they're like, they're such family, you know? Um, anyway, and you know, someone like Charlie Watts, who I told you earlier was, I idolized. Charlie and John Bonham were my heroes, you know? I mean, they are the two drummers. They are the reasons why I wanted to be a drummer so much. I, after seeing them play live, um, Oh, even before that, what am I saying? I've seen him on TV and stuff, you know. I mean, waiting every Sunday night for Ed Sullivan. You know, the Ed Sullivan show would come on at, what was it, 8 o'clock or whatever, and and you, you couldn't wait to see who the musical guest was going to be. Stones would be on, the Beatles, everybody. Um, anyway, I'm getting off subject here. But, but, but to actually get to uh, meet these people was only a dream, you know. Um, and to get to play open for the Stones, you know. Um, that was an incredible moment. Um, and, and, and I, I, I you know, I, I'm still sad about Charlie's passing yeah. because he was such a lovely guy and he was a fucking rock man. He was, he's a rock. I don't know what, I don't, I, I don't know what they're going to do, but, uh, it's going to be tough to, without Charlie Watts. I don't know. I just can't imagine it. Yeah, no, absolutely. I hear what you're saying. Uh, but you know, another thing that you did, with the book that I thought was really fantastic is you gave everybody there, gave everybody their say. You let all the other girls in the band have parts in the book. Uh, there was friends, Jody Foster had, had a chance to, to comment on looking back at all this. You gave your perspective and then you gave everybody a chance to give theirs as well. Well, uh, like I said, in the, the early eighties, every, every, everyone was, we were all growing up together. And we all hung out, you know, and and you meet this, you have a friend and you meet another friend. Anyway, I, 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 we, we like, when we were in New York City, we always stayed at the Mayflower. And at the Mayflower at that time, like Mickey Rourke had a place there, Tommy Mottola had a place there. Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci had the, had the penthouse. Um, Whitey was the doorman. It was like, that was our home away from home. We stayed there a lot. And at the end of the night, there were many nights uh, where they'd close down the bar. There was a conservatory. They'd close it down. And then there'd be like, you know, 10 of us in there having our little party, you know, and it was a wonderful time. It was the brat pack was around. It was, it was always somebody in town that you were, somebody knew hanging out with Emilio Estevez and, you know, you name it. It was, they were there, Rob, and, you know, it was a great, it was a great time to, and we were all watching each other grow and becoming, you know, becoming into, you know, rock stardom or becoming very famous actors. And uh, it was a neat time. I'm so fortunate to have been, uh, been, been there during that period of time. Yeah. Well, I think it was great that you were able to look back over all that, cover all that without really getting deep into the drama. You gave us an honest accounting of all the things that went on but avoided the big drama and really stuck to the story of what took place. Uh, well, you know, Joe, it, I say in the book that we are family and we are, because you know, I've said this many times, you love your family, but you don't always like them. <laughs> and to be together, being together with one person for over 40 years is pretty incredible. We got five girls together for over 40 years. That is like a miracle. And, you know, we weren't the best communicators in our early 20s, as you would imagine, right? Um, mm -hmm. We've all grown, we, we've all come into this, the person that I think we all wanted to be, you know? I mean, like, I'm happy with the person I am now. Um, I'm in a good place. I feel, you know, I feel proud. I, I, I feel, there are just so many feelings that I have, but they're all good about my journey and where I've landed. And I think everybody in the band would say the same thing, you know? It, 
it's been something it's been quite yeah. a journey yeah well you know it, as you look back over the whole journey i mean look at just recently there's there's some new music you got the movie you got your book you're getting into the rock and roll hall of fame and you guys are going to play at the ceremony Oh, you know what? I wanted to finish what to, to I, I, I didn't finish what I my, my complete thought there about, you know, about about uh, uh, you, you asking about drama and stuff. Yeah. There, there, there certainly was drama, but it wasn't something that I honestly could focus on because in the scope of things, it was like that much. It was nothing. It was like, you know, 99 percent of everything that ha happened, you know, over our career has been all great things. You know, and and when, like I say, when you're together with a group of people or even one person for years, there's going to be issues that come up. No, it's absolutely. how you how you get through it. And fortunately, we all did get through it, and 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 have learned to be better at at communicating with each other. And that's that's the key to any relationship really working. Is you got to be able to communicate, got to be honest, you got to be able to say things in a way that you don't like destroy somebody in uh, the midst of saying, you know what I mean? So no, anyway, uh, I'm sorry, back into what you were just saying. I, I wanted to finish that thought. Um, no, that's fine. About, I'm sorry, go ahead, Joe. What was this last question you asked me? Well, I was just saying like, you know, looking back over all that, you got to look over all that. It, there's recently been some new music. You got the book, yeah. there's the movie, and then the Rock yeah. and Roll Hall of Fame, and you're playing at the ceremony. I, I'm beyond pumped for that. Well, I am pretty excited about that. We haven't played together in ages, you know. And so I am super excited about us being on the same stage playing. Um, we've been getting, like, the, I would, the, 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 uh, all the information's been, like, trickling in. So it's been a very slow process trying to figure out where we're going to be, at what day, what the times are and all that. But we're going to have it together. Um, they asked that we do three songs. I wanted to do more, but it's okay, so we'll do three songs. And they even told us what they wanted us to do. So, okay, we'll do it. It's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's like Lifetime Achievement Award or something. I don't know. I'm, as much as I bitch about them, I, it's like still pretty cool to be being inducted, to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's pretty cool, you know? Um, and we'll be there with our peers. And that's, I can't wait to like, see dave and yeah, I, I mean like the, i love the food fighters tina turn everybody that's involved this year is i'm really uh happy to be a part of this group that's being inducted this year todd yeah. Lundgren, i mean there's a it's really cool well you know as you as you hit these heights for everything that you've done you know uh and you know like i said before one of the things i always like to do is take people back to the beginning and ask you what it was like the first time you got to hear yourself on the radio. Oh, right. <laughs> um, first time hearing myself on the radio, I was in the car. And um, I don't remember who I was with, but it was like, I just screamed. It was like, oh my God, I've made it. You know, that's one of the things that happens over the period of, you know, us being together all these years and us like each step that we took you know, into becoming the, the the huge band that we became in the 80s. And that was like one of those steps. Oh my God, now you're on the radio. Oh, oh my God, now you're gonna, uh, now you're gonna, you're gonna um, go on tour and you're gonna be open for the police. And now you're gonna be playing in stadiums and you're gonna, you know, you're playing the Hollywood Bowl, Madison Square Garden, all these big things, they just, one after the next, they start happening. And really when you're doing it, Joe, you don't realize like how incredible that is in retrospect. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this was fucking amazing. That is something to be proud of. And, and, and I am now, but when it was happening, it was, it was all happening so fast. The pace was so crazy that you never really had time to appreciate what was going on. Although yeah. we did have fun. Okay. Don't get me wrong. We had fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, were living you know the life. we were living the life and we deserved it. We worked hard. Well, there you go. And now, you know, and now it's got to be now you get to see all that in the book. Made in Hollywood, All Access to Go-Go's. You see all that. You see the fun. You can read about it. You can hear about it. It's a great book. And, you know, I know that you're going to be going doing book signings all over with special guests. I'm not going to give away any of the special guests that I know of. But I, I will show up when I get the physical book. I will show up. 
and, Joe, uh, and look to have you show, sign the book. Joe, you better show up. I'll <laughs> come out there and get your ass. No, you better show up. I'll be in New York for a little while, you know? Um, yeah, I can't wait to get out there and, um, you know, I mean, this is something brand new for me. I, it's uh, yet another part of my career that, um, that I'm, that I'm kind of knocked out about that I get to do this. Like, wow, I'm a photographer as well. And I'm an author as well. And like, add this to the list of things that I've been able to do, but everything that I'm doing and have been able to do is all thanks to the band I'm in. And that's the Go-Go's. If it wasn't for the Go-Go's, none of this would be happening for me or for anybody else in this band. We all have the Go-Go's to be thankful for. And I feel like I celebrate the band in my, in, in the book, the book that I've done. I feel like it's a, a real celebration. And, um, like I said, 99% of the time, it was all good. It was the five of us against the world. And we were in a man's world and we were five girls and we heard no more than yes, let me tell you. But it only takes the one yes to let you have your shot. So um, things worked out all right, Joe. There you go. Well, Gina, thank you so much for spending twice as much time with me. So I can That's get okay. <laughs> I really You're appreciate nice it. Hey, I noticed that that gorgeous uh, Rickenbacker you had there. 12 Is that string, a 12 string? 12 string Roger McGoin signature edition. I I'm a, thought so. I'm, I, I, you know, I love a lot of the music out of the 60s, and that's how, that's one of the reasons why I appreciate the Go-Go's, because I could hear, I heard the punk elements in there, but I heard the love of 60s. I'm thinking of the birds. I'm thinking of Roger McGuinn when I look at that, when I look at that Rickenbacker thing, or Roger McGuinn, you know, that the birds. Yeah, that's a, that's a McGuinn signature model. Oh, it is. You just yes. Know? Shit. Okay. Sorry. I missed that. Whoa. Okay. So we're on the same track, baby. I didn't, I didn't hear that. I just looked at, whoa, cool. So maybe when I come to a book signing, we'll jam a little. All right. You got it. You got it. Well, listen, Gina, like I said, thank you so much for spending all sure. this time with me. The book is made in Hollywood, all access to go-go's go get it. If, if you're not a fan, you will be by the time you're done reading the book. <laughs> Joe, this was a piece of cake. Anytime you want to talk, I'll talk to you, brother. <laughs>